Welcome back to Price Action Trading Series from Market Secrets. This is episode 26 of the series and in this episode we are going to learn how to define and identify a downtrend. Before we begin, I have an update for you. In addition to the Price Action Trading Series, we have multiple series on algo trading, trading strategies, investment strategies running in our website. So do check it out when you are free. Also, we have multiple data feeds as well. And if you are a trader, it will be immensely helpful for you. So do check it out when you are free. And with that note, let's jump into the session. In the previous sessions, we have learned about different types of trends and how to identify whether we are in an uptrend or whether uptrend has officially begun. In total, we have four different types of trends, an uptrend, a downtrend, a broken uptrend to the downside, which is bullish consolidation, a broken downtrend to the upside, which is bearish consolidation. In this episode, we are going to see the rules to define and identify a downtrend. When it comes to downtrend, what we look for in a downtrend is that identified supply zones above the current price are respected and in the process of price moving down, it should have taken out the demand zones. In simple terms, supply area should be respected and demand area should be taken out. We can define downtrend in two possibilities. Possibility one, we were able to draw a downtrend or bearish trend line which is respected and at least one opposing demand zone is taken out. So every time there is a demand zone being removed and two new peaks are formed, the downtrend is established and the downtrend has officially begun. That's possibility number one. So let's take an example. In this example, we have two peaks. This is peak one and this is peak two. So peak one and peak two. And we have connected both the peaks to create a bearish downtrend line, which is being respected and not broken it. Likewise, we have a demand zone, which is marked in green and it is now broken. So this candle had broken through the demand zone. So in this case, both the trend line is now formed and the demand zone is now taken out at the same time. I marked an arrow to represent the same. Price had broken below the low created by the peak one and formed the peak two, thereby it created a bearish trend line. At the exact same moment, the price had broken out below the demand zone as well. So at the exact same candle, at the exact same time, the price had broken below the demand zone as well. So once that is breached, we are officially now in a downtrend because our conditions are satisfied. This is for possibility number one. Likewise, let's take the possibility number two. When it comes to possibility number two, at least two opposing demand zones should be taken out and there should be no possibility to draw a bearish downtrend line. So like we discussed in the last episode, the reason for the second possibility is that it is sometimes not possible to draw a trend line based on our rules. So we will consider that the downtrend has begun if price had taken out two demand zones. Also, as before, please do not forget the level on top of level situation. So in this case, we just have one peak. So with just one peak, we cannot draw a bearish downtrend line as price had moved down very, very fast. So in this case, we need to wait for price to take out the two demand zones which are marked in green. So we have one demand zone marked in green and we have another demand zone marked in green. And at this particular candle, the price had broken below the second demand zone which tells us that the downtrend had officially begun. So the moment price breaks below the second demand zone, we are officially in a downtrend. So to summarize, we can consider that a downtrend has officially begun if one demand zone is taken out and we are able to draw a bearish trend line or if price takes out two demand zones. Hope you are clear on how to confirm whether we are in a downtrend now. We can see other two scenarios in the next sessions. With that, I am closing today's session. Hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.